Don here in Florida and today I'm going to be trying to repair a casting on the Delta bandsaw. This is the type of casting that's broken and I, actually you can see that this one is broken too. I have a number of these that are all broken up. The thing is I have to figure out a way to uh, fix this up and if you look at this real close you can see that there's a lot of casting material right there that I have to braze through and I am going to braze and the way I'm going to do it because there is so much material is with the uh, Multiplast 3500. This is a great welding tool and it's also a plasma cutter, but it's also a fantastic tool for brazing. If anybody saw the uh, 10 E uh, videos that I did, I mentioned that, that this was an, an incredible tool for brazing up the uh, back cover of that thing. It was like laying solder into tin. It was so quick. So this tool creates a, a very narrow stream of uh, plasma arc and that plasma is incredibly hot it's much hotter than the acetylene I have acetylene sitting there in the corner and I could use that for the same job but this is much much faster I can bring that casting almost to a melting point in no time at all and so brazing with this is just almost a no-brainer so we're gonna braze with the uh, multiplas today show you how that goes so let's go get on that so basically the problem we have is this casting right here. This is what holds the surface plate in place and it allows it to rotate like this or angle. And also the blade guide mounts right on here. But this casting right here is snapped off. It should come around like this side here, but it doesn't. So my original thought was basically just to take a piece of round like this that would allow me to radius it on the inside, uh, trepan it, and then put a groove on the inside and then cut out the piece I need and, and weld it on there. But I get to looking at this a little deeper and, and I don't know if you can tell right in here, there's a crack right across there. So what I did was I went to one of the other saws that I got and I have another piece right here, which I can use in place, but it as well, is broken right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this piece because I know it's still good and it's not cracked here and I'm basically gonna cut this end off and then braze it in like this so obviously I'll have to chop some of that out but I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off in the saw right now and uh, then we'll see what we can do about setting that up uh, grinding it uh, holding it in place so that we can braise it and then brazing it in. So let's go do that. So one of these dowels is broken or missing. Okay, this has quite a curve to it right here, so the blade's not gonna be able to sit flat on that. So I'm gonna grind a little flat spot into that for the blade to be able to start off easily. There, see now it has a nice flat surface to start on. Okay, so she fell right out because of that crack across the back. I forgot all about that. I was gonna let it run to the bottom, but uh, she did a nice cut. So let's go over there and set this up. Okay, so that's the piece we cut off. As you can see, you can make a nice extension onto here like this. Interesting, they both broke at the same spot like that. But because this was, they were both wider here, narrower here. When I turn this around, it, it lines up almost perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind both of these back a little bit and prep them. And then we're going to just braise them right together. Once they're brazed right together, we'll measure what we need to take off to, to make it the same length as here, and then cut that off, the excess. And then we'll have to uh, drill it like that. See, there's originally a hole there. 
and that was so that this piece could rotate. And we'll actually use this this broken one here. There's a uh, lip taken off right there. We'll use this to line everything up when we braise it so it stays at the right contour, and that way when we're done, it'll roll right in there like that. So I'm gonna go outside and, and uh, get set up, and we'll start prepping. Okay, so let's uh, prep these edges down a little bit here.
Okay, so we had to put this in at kind of an odd angle to get it to line up with the cup mark. like that and now we're going to drill a new hole in here for the uh, bolt Okay, that came out pretty good. I, I uh, went ahead and just hit that with the Dremel tool a little bit in there to clean up some of that braze and, and shot some paint over it. And you see that turns really nice now. It, it cradles perfectly. I still have a, a little bit of cleanup to do back on this edge right here, but uh, I have a lot of cleaning to do on this, so no problem there. I, I gotta do that whole cast and clean that up and uh, paint it, but uh, I think that's gonna work for uh, our application. I'm gonna have to get the uh, blade guide set up and put in as well, but uh, it's coming along pretty quick. Anyway, so this is just a, a nice quick video to cover the uh, 3500 and to show you where I'm at on the Delta bandsaw. Hope you all enjoyed, and again, and as always from Florida, Don out. <laughs>